What's bacon fam, it's your boy Shankabuffin here, and welcome to one of the most important videos for anyone that is killing skeletal wyverns. So let's talk about the spot. As you can see, the position I'm in right now, I'll call it the Alpha Spot. This is the stationary spot where everyone goes for ranging Skeleton Wyverns here on task. It's the base spot, it's usually the spot that you see everyone slaying in. As you can see, this guy, X, I'm going to call him X because I can't pronounce his name, he's one square to the left of me. Please pay attention how the second Wyvern is one square to the left of my original Wyvern is. Because of that, we equal out the distances between our wyverns to make sure that none of us get attacked. Depending on the distance between your wyvern to the other person's wyvern in the square spaces correlates to how many spaces you should be away from that player. Alright, let's take a look at the second spot. Let's pay attention to the feet of the alpha spot of the wyvern. It is one, two, three squares away. So, let us move three squares to the left in order to safely attack this wyvern. Now you may be thinking, Shank, you can attack this wyvern right here in this position. This is actually false. You have to go parallel to the icy cavern in order to attack the second wyvern that is behind the alpha spot wyvern. Because of this, you may think that, oh, where Rocky is sitting, oh, I can just attack him from there. What will happen is your character will run about one or two squares right next to the front wyvern. So. Because of that, you have to make sure you are parallel to the icy cavern entrance in order to attack your wyvern safely. Once the alpha wyvern is killed, be sure to move back into the alpha spot of where our friend here, X, is standing so you do not get aggroed by the wyvern that you are attacking. Be sure that when the first wyvern is killed, right click on the player that is present and click walk here. Once that happens, you will move safely back and your character will automatically attack the wyvern. If he doesn't, be sure to right click on your wyvern so you do not click on any other wyverns to attack it. And you will be in a safe spot, and you will continue doing damage to the assigned wyvern that you're killing. Let's use X to view on why we need to be a certain distance away from the alpha position to attack a wyvern. Because of X's wyvern being two squares away from the wyvern that I am killing, X needs to stand two squares away from me in order to attack his wyvern safely. So the ultimate way on how to make sure that you will not be attacked is to check the alpha wyvern feet. If the assigned wyvern you want to kill is three spaces away, then go to the parallel spot that is right next to the icy cavern. If you are one space away, step in front of, of where the alpha player is standing. If the wyvern is two spots away, step two spaces to the left of where the alpha player is standing. Keeping this minimum distance is a great way and a safe way in order for you to not take damage and to make your slayer task go quickly and efficiently. Now the one major flaw in this two spot dilemma is that the alpha position player will obviously be very mad because you took quote unquote his spot. So. From this, you may be called bitch, he may have fucked your mom, uh, he may call you some other shit that may not matter in life, but he would love to be a keyboard warrior. So what I do is continue doing this, because it is efficient, and it's really not that big of a deal. Get that Slayer XP, and eventually the person may hop, or the person may eventually just give up and just say, fine, I'll do it with you, let's get a two player spot routine going. Well guys, that's the end of this instructional video. Hopefully this will be helpful and you guys can continue slaying. Alright guys, I'm Shankamuff and I'm signing out. Please enjoy this outro.